Hey guys, it's Victoria here and Matt one more time in a new video. Sorry I haven't made a lot of videos lately because uh, my computer thingy broke. The place where I put the SD card, it broke so I couldn't put any SD cards in it or, you know. But I tried sending an email to my laptop from another laptop that has a video so I can post it on YouTube using my laptop because I only like using my laptop. But anyway, you know. I made the video and here you guys go. Uh, I don't think you guys watched my latest video, not a lot of you. It was about the up, a new update. You know, I actually made two updates. One update, uh, you saw my face in it. Second update was a video about how to make advanced lightning using Adobe, Adobe After Effects. Yeah, in that video I made my second update, which was I'm not going to be making videos on Wednesdays only. I'm going to be making vid videos like you know, anytime randomly, because I got lots and lots of requests, and uh, I most of the time I'm not empty on Wednesdays, so I pick doing videos randomly like I used to. But this time it's not gonna be um like far away timing of uploading videos. It's gonna be like every week at least twice or once. I don't know, maybe some weeks, nothing. You know, but I try my best to upload videos as much as I can. So let's start with my video. I'm going to be reviewing something old, something classic, something that most of you had when he was four or five or six and mostly played all the time, something that everybody loves, the Nintendo 64. Epic fail. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the best gaming consoles I ever tried playing or playing. Yes, um, because of the graphics. In that particular time, graphics were a little bit less, a little bit lower resolution than um, it was in this time. You know, now we have 3D TVs and stuff. But um, it's awesome for the time of their time, you know, in the 1990s or something. And the games are awesome on it. Uh, one of the most best selling games for Nintendo 64 is called um, Mario Super Mario 64. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice game too. You know, you go save Princess Peach as always and in her castle, you know, you just do missions and stuff, get stars as any Mario. Yep, um, it's a really awesome gaming console. One of the best I played. It's actually the third best I played. First goes for PlayStation 3, second goes for GameCube, one of the best games game systems I ever played, which is GameCube. And the third one goes to uh, Nintendo 64. Okay, so uh, this is uh, pretty much about the Nintendo 64 and its review, you know. I give the graphics um, 8.5 out of 10 because for a particular time in 1990s, it was a 20 out of 10. But for now, you know, since we have higher resolution TVs and higher resolution gaming systems and consoles, so I give it an 8.5. And for the gameplay, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 because games are... Games on Nintendo 64 console are all the best. And for the, um, the what's uh, what's next? You know, you know, all of it together. I'll just give it a 9.5. The overall is 9.5 out of 10. Cause um, you know, it's getting kind of old, but it's still classic. You know, it's really hard to find gaming systems that are old right now. I mean, I barely found this one on eBay. It was kind of cheap. I want to tell you the price, but like it was kind of expensive and cheap, but it's still classics. I mean, it's still classic. It deserves it. Any classic, then any classic Nintendo gaming system, it deserves the money. So I got four games with it. Actually, I got it a long time ago. You know, not really long, like six, one one year ago or something. You know, I even made an unboxing video of it, but you guys can watch it. <laughs> And I got, um, I got four new games. You know, they're actually used, but, like, I got them new. So, um, the first, alright, I'm gonna be rating them one by one and be, uh, I got four, alright? So, I'm gonna be from the last, the first, last one I like till the first one I like. So, the f fourth one, since it's only four, is, um, NFL Blitz. It is on the, the only football game I like. You know, I like football, but 
I don't like the games a lot because I don't really get them. They're kind of hard. And I'm not really used to playing football. I play soccer ball. But it is one of the best football games I've ever played. It has some kind of fantasy in it, you know, how you can jump a little bit further and how you can do things like you can jump on a character even if he's down you know hit him or something you can punch him you know that's kind of fantasy to me yeah okay so the third game goes to NBA Live 99 it is another awesome basketball game but it has lots and lots of glitches it has lots and lots of glitches and it's kind of hard to play actually it's like the one of the hardest basketball games or sport games I ever played okay so Alright, so I give the Blitz um, 9 out of 10. I give um, NBA Live another 9 out of 10. Now we're going to start with the two games I like, which is the, my favorite games on Earth. Okay, but not, you know, one of the favorite. <laughs> Alright, so number two goes for Mario 64. It is another awesome game for Mario. I think it is like... Um, People consider it the second best, I think, or first, I don't know, on Nintendo 64. Um, it's really nice. I told you the story. You just go save Princess Peach. You know, that's how Mario goes. And now, my favorite game for Nintendo 64. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I mean, this game is like the best game I ever played. I mean, seriously. It has, it has nice graphics, it has a nice story, but, you know, it's really hard to beat. It's, like, one of the hardest games to beat. And, um, this game deserves an 11 out of 10. Trust me. Legend of Zelda deserves higher than 10 out of 10. Mario, I'll give it a 9.5, since, yeah. So, this is my Nintendo and everything. I forgot to show you the controller. Here it is. Ooh. And thank you guys for watching.